We'll call that a pre-show here on the Rants of Izzo on Spree Elite Media. Okay. Countdown, three minutes, and we're live here on the Spree Elite Media Network. I got to see what's working and what's not working. Kids, happy Thursday. Hope you guys are doing great. We've been running into some Mercury retrograde problems if you are watching the show. So let's see how this goes today. Uh, trying... Again, just typing in the chat there, letting people know that we're in the chat, all that kind of good jazz. Got to see the other technical stuff we've done. If you guys don't believe Mercury Retrograde is real, I don't know what to tell you. It 100% is real, and it's insane, and it affects every every quarter because it's like four times a year. It blows me every time the damn friggin' Mercury Retrograde comes out, the show just shits the bed, and we get streaming problems and all that. Oh, that's a funny flat. All right, um, let's do some housekeeping. You want to support the show? There's several ways to do it. You go to Spreely.com and you start using the social media platform, right? I got dinged today. I think on like Facebook, I posted something and like, you sure you want to post that? You're never going to get that on Spreely.com. It's also where you're going to get your other shows like the Burn Pit Podcast, Report No Pine, the Shannon Joy Show, The Dumb Show, Wake Up America, all that stuff, right? Buy our book. My book, Before the Badge, Everything You Need to Know Before You Become a Cop. It's available at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and WordsMatterPublishing.com. I don't have a copy of it anywhere to show. I thought I did. Whatever. Bad marketing. Also, product release date. Here's the deal. I'm never going to say what company because I respect their uh, right to not want to be um, politically associated with anybody because the show is highly political. But... Every you got you need pre workout, you need a recovery, you need your greens in. Here's the deal text me, right? Not just go to my link and all that shit and be really impersonal. For all you people who listen to the radio and hear that balance of nature crap commercial, that company is shit. Text 708 982 0974. Text 708 982 0974. Say, hey, Izzo, I want to feel better, look better, move better. I don't know. Uh, poop better, have better hair, skin, nails, control my diabetes, have better energy, have bigger cum shots, you name it. You want your health to be better, you need to text me. End of story. 708-982-0974. 708-982-0974. Let's have a show. We're going to have a show. We're going live, kids. Welcome to the Rants of Izzo here on Spreely Media. Sit down, shut up, and pay attention. Damn! This is the Rants of Izzo Show. With your hosts, Dominic Izzo. From porn to politics. We touch every third rail we can find. You might want to put your headphones on so your mom can't hear this. It's been called the most entertaining 60 minutes on the internet. And it starts now. now. Let's do this. Good afternoon and happy Thursday from the Rancid Vizzo Show here on Spreely.com. All things spoken freely. It's your free speech. You have the God given right if you're an American to exercise your free speech and some people who especially are cops need to understand that because you guys are still outraged over me for defending uh, Alan Richardson's position on law enforcement um, the diva's back where, where you been boo hi how are you where you where, where you where you been you okay how you feeling uh, oh I've not been well I've been paused the last two three weeks you've been what I just started to, I've only just started to feel human again what happened? Last, I've not been well. I've just been poorly. I've been really run down. Um, uh, and just, yeah, I just got really sick. Do you think that's uh, because you burn the candle, like, every damn end, and you're always out and divaing it and, like, doing your gallivanting and clubbing it up and posting pictures of you and your boys all like, look at me, everybody worships me because I'm... Uh, no, no, no. This, 
Definitely was um, self-inflicted. I, I will admit it is. I've, I've, I've not been looking after myself lately, so this is just the product of that. A lot of people would say, "Oh, you've got a virus. Oh, you've got a cold cough." But no, I'm 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 far more self-aware than that. This this is my own doing. I've not been looking after myself, so this is what happens. Yeah, you've been missed. Uh, Everybody keeps going. When's Lola coming back on? I'm like, I don't know. She fucking, she does what she. You're, yeah, I told you, you're a diva. Now, I, I, I could said, barely speak last week. I would have been no yeah. good. I could barely speak. I appreciate so. that, and it's very important when you come on. I want to hear uh, if you, and I'll, I'll, I'll wait till after I read this because we've had a, a burning listener question for you for like three weeks now, but you haven't been on. And I'll ask you about the full moon afterwards. So, do you want to take a question from like a member of the audience who's all like? I need okay. Lola's. Okay. I'll really just find that one out. Uh, a couple weeks ago, let's see. I got to find this out. This was from 702 Area Code. Uh, wanted to ask me, but at the very end of it, it says, find out what uh, the diva, which is you, thinks as well, too. I want to ask you about a man dating. Uh, uh, I want to ask about a man advice on dating. Maybe this may not be topic a related topic, but... Um, Met a woman where I self-sabotaged. She gave me her number. She wanted to meet up before we uh, met. For the dumbest reason uh, in the world, I brought an ex. Okay. Where I told... Uh, wait, so there's some punctuation issues. I'm having a problem reading this. Before we met, for the dumbest reason in the world, I brought an ex. Were I told where I told her my ex's boyfriend called me and said she's done with you? Okay. Since uh, he came off rude and threatening, I threatened him back and said I would beat him up if I ran into. I'm assuming it's him. Oh, now I get what your response was. Was when you texted me back after reading this is like, is the person retarded? No, I got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did because I didn't read this I, whole. I didn't read this you, whole you thing. Me, I, I, I had a little quick read and I, and I was tired and I, I thought I'm really tired and I'm not reading this proper. Uh, this is difficult to read. <laughs> yeah. No. I now I understand it because you like. Uh, no, that's not what you said. You said something funnier. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not going to read it because it was too fucking funny. Uh, for. <laughs> The, this girl, this sort of freaked out the new girl. Uh, like, dude, who you seven hundred two wrote this? Fucking proofread your shit before you send it. <laughs> and I'm not being an asshole. I'm being considerate. If you want me to read this on air, fucking spell right. Use punctuation the proper way. Capitalizations, all this shit. I'm assuming you're a grown person. You should not be dating, breeding, or anything else if you can't get basic. This is Cardi B speak. If you cannot get basic English down, you should not be fucking dating anyone. Oh, my gosh. This this cert, S-I-R-T, of freaked out the new girl. Oh, excuse me. Freaked the new girl out. Like, oh, you're, while you are a posteriori, please, violent, that scares me. For some dumb reason, I had a situation later where I lost my cool. I told her about the situation, and then she said, we can meet. You're a violent person, LOL. I'll, I'll be you honest. Oh, my. Oh, don't. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right having to go at him for not proofreading, but... You didn't proofread no. before you decided to read it on air, didn't No, you? So. I didn't. I just, I totally shit the bed on this one. You're right. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, you mean. I've never been in a fist fight in my entire life, so I was frustrated with her. And Vern, T-H-R-N, I'm assuming it's then, she said, leave me alone. I don't know why I brought my ex and why the hell I would ever mention any thung Oh my God! Anything about the be fuck about what is this about being a ragealic? R a g a l i c a r a g a i l i c. The girl just shut me down. I apologized and a b d abd. Try to if I read this exactly how this was written, people would think I was having a stroke. Um, it sounds like you. It, 
it reads like you're dyslexic when you're trying it to reads read like it. he's That's having a feel. stroke i apologize ab <laughs> try to save it but she was like no too late no tolerance no compassion on her end let me know what you why w mm, why i you think brother exclamation point uh let me know what diva thinks too um I guess I think you yeah. have to go to um like well no, I wouldn't say go back to school. Get your I would GED. never advise anybody to do that. <laughs> Maybe just uh proofread. That's what I would advise. Oh my god, dude. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not trying to be an uh, ass. But and don't it, take your ex to meet new girls. That's never Well don't say something if you're not gonna back it up either. Mm-hmm. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had uh, two guys fight over you? Been like, she's mine, she's mine. Uh, what? What do you mean, two guys fight over me? Yeah, like they're like the she's mine, and the other guy's like, no, she's mine. like the Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. The girl is mine. Have you ever like? Is there ever? Not been- that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. I can't say I have. Um. Wow. I wouldn't be paying attention if that sort of thing was happening. What was happening? Nothing's happening. You you know what? Anyway. Hey, hey, ready? Uh, Fuck the audience, uh, yeah. dude. L- l- let's just catch up. How you been? What's going on? Fuck uh, yeah. what, the audience uh, doesn't give a shit about We don't care about them. What have you been doing? You thrown me off now with that guy's question. I w- what? That doesn't even make any sense. No, he's, in, in Italian, it's uh, Chimangano speak, half a retard. Yeah. Did Mercury so, retrograde or not? Well, is Mercury retro has Mercury retrograde been screwing you up? Do you know what? I can't say I've ever like noticed it wreaking this sort of havoc on my life ever. I'm always aware of when it is and let everybody f- like fussing about it, but it's never um, it's never made an impression on my life that I've noticed. Doesn't screw up like your electronic devices or your internet. Not that I've noticed. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that doesn't happen. Like, I'm all for it, but nothing that I've ever noticed has ever gone weird. But then again, people say stuff like that they go funny with the moon. Do you know what I mean? People people are affected by the moon. Um, and, like, that that, that term, lunatic, mm. it's, a, it's a real thing. Like, people were going mental like when, when the moon was in a certain phase. I never uh, thought about that. Never affected me like that. Nothing. I'm probably not very sensitive to all that stuff. Maybe who knows? There's a um a movie coming out called Fly Me to the Moon with uh yeah yeah. Are you gonna like watch it or or will you be ruined in the theater? Going no, nope, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> is it is it a theater thing or a Netflix I, one? That's a good question. Let me see. Because <clears throat> I've, I've seen the trailer. Yeah, and they're supposed to be filming a um, I mean the movie, and they're supposed to be uh, oh, excuse me, uh, filming like it's like the the movie is about them filming a backup plan in case they don't make it. Um, Five Minute Mood twenty twenty four twenty twenty four film uh, is a romantic comedy drama directed by Greg uh, Orlandi, who did da- Dawson's Creek. Um, and it's written by Ro- Oh my god, you alright? Mm-hmm. Okay I'm just re- making sure. The film stars Scarlett Johansson Channing Tatum Nick Dillenberg, Anna Garcia, okay whatever What's the plot? Fly Me to the Moon is okay, scheduled to release in theaters Here's the plot During the 1960s space race between the United States and the Soviet Union A relationship yeah. develops between NASA the director of NASA in charge of the Apollo 11 which I, if you watch any of that um, Rob Skiba stuff, all the, all the, um, oh my God. Sorry. You're British. Don't you drink tea all the time? Like, soothe your, soothe your throat? No, I don't really drink tea. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys coffee. drink coffee over there? Yeah. Really? I always wonder if I like if I went to Europe if they're like a coffee. They're, they're, they, if I asked for a cup of coffee, they would uh, look at all me. All you get is tea. Once you're in England, all you get is tea. How do you get there's your no, coffee? There's no, there's no other option. You've got to have crumpets as well. 
Oh, you're an asshole right now. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I can picture them going, pompous American, not going to give you a tea. <laughs> you, you spot a tea. And then I got to call everybody governor. Um, let's see. Oh. I did, dude, when I was in seventh grade. Oh, my God. I can't. This just came in a, like a really weird flashback memory. So I was really big into reading uh, Edgar Allan Poe stories and this was like the time in grammar school where you had to read um in class in front of the whole class group or whatever and i chose to read the telltale heart in front of the class the entire story and for some strange fucking reason <laughs> a little seventh grade me what's like 11 years old 12 years old i chose to do it in this faux british accent and I just remember getting an A plus on like the assignment by the teacher. So it was so brilliant. It was so brilliant. It's like, oh my God. I don't know why I did that either. I'm just like, true. Very mad indeed. And I was like, oh my God. So, oh my God. Why do. Yeah, it's like, I don't know why British people, which I think is a superior accent to us fucking Americans, I don't know why they, like, you guys lose your accent when you sing and why you guys all have to talk like normal hillbilly American when you do movies with us and not keep your accents. I can't say I've noticed that either. Oh my God. Yeah. Is that, is that real? Yeah. Yes. All major awesome British. Like uh, what's his name? Um, Like the guy who played Logan is from Australia or what Hugh Jackman. Can you imagine if Hugh Jackman uh, Hugh had like, Jackman. yeah, he had like an Australian accent if he was playing Logan? Like, why not just do that? Oh, I don't know. I've never really thought of it. Now, when you guys sing, you lose your British accent. Well, I don't know. Let's find that out. Maybe, maybe everybody just turns American when they're singing. I don't okay. Know. Why do do the British? I don't think that's a real thing, Dominic. I think that's just a hundred percent. Yes, it is. British lose. Okay, why do here's here? Why do the British people lose their accents when they sing? Uh, let's hear, like Elton John. You don't hear him. Can we feel the love tonight? He doesn't sing like that. Uh, I want to find a short explanation. Why do British people sing with an American accent? Uh, You're not gonna get. Any. Uh, you're not going to get a decent answer because I'm pretty sure this isn't a real thing. I, I think this is something that you've imagined in your head. Really? All right, let's just listen to this. What's up with... No, let's see. Yeah, I sorry, Dad. Okay, let's see. Let's, I want to hear this. That is so off-putting. Oh, her dog. This is from Emma McCann. This is something that I've wanted to talk about for a while. It's a question that I get asked all the time i've always been asked this question ever since i started performing is she irish no no oh, she british she's she sounds british yeah okay right you do so there's like your accent it's really no uh what, what i want to say like i don't when i hear you talk i don't i'm not, I'm not thrown into like the 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 bed knobs and broomsticks Disney film of where like they got the dirty little the dirty little Mary Poppins kids or like Fagin's kids the the awful the awful Dodger right you know listen, listen yeah. for, for for a very small dot on the map which we are England is a very small country um like the the difference in regional accents from Huge. one city to another. It, it's quite dramatic. Yes. It sounds like a, it sounds like a different language sometimes. You only have to drive a couple of hours, and it sounds like to somebody who wasn't like used to hearing the accents, you wouldn't be able to understand them um, because they, they can sound so different. Uh, yeah, you don't so. sound like a, like a like I would not. Um, what do you call it? Oh, help me out. You don't sound like. Uh, like white trash out here in the United States. When you speak, you kind of, yeah. you kind of, I, ready? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not paying you a compliment to make you feel better because I know you probably need one. You actually sound, oh, maybe this won't be a compliment. Maybe this will be an insult. You don't sound like, you kind of, you kind of sound like British royalty when you speak. 
Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I'm, just trying, I'm trying to make you feel I, 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 I don't think anybody would agree with you there. Yeah, blue blood. Um, right. You're not a blue blood. Yeah. No, I'm not. Fuck. Do you know what? I don't actually know what my blood type is. I don't actually I don't know either. what it is. I, um, wait, I want to find out, but I probably won't. Okay. All right, let's hear this. This is the surprising reason why British people sing in American accents. <sighs> Was I got approached about it in 2019. And people often ask that in the form of, why do British people sing in an American accent? But it's actually not just British people. It also happens to people from Ireland, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and all other parts of the English-speaking world. So what does it actually mean to sing in an American accent? Yeah. One aspect involves R, R sounds um, before consonants and before silence, which, which many people in some of the countries I mentioned don't do in their normal speech, but do do in singing. Okay. Harry Styles is from Redditch in Worcestershire, and most people there would say watermelon sugar without any R's. Well, in, in the unlikely event of any human being ever having said watermelon sugar before that song came out. Have you got any sugar? Yes, no, I've got cane sugar. Is it watermelon? Mm. No, there's no such thing as watermelon sugar, I don't think. However, when <laughs> Harry sings it, he says watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. Another. Okay, can you say, so we can get a baseline of this. Would you, please, Lola, Christina, diva of all divas, would you say watermelon, watermelon sugar so we can get a baseline? If, if I was saying it in conversation, right. watermelon sugar. Right. And it's like that. But if I was singing that song, then you sing in the tone of the song, don't you? Okay. <laughs> Which just happens to have an accent. <laughs> American accent. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Watermelon yeah. sugar. I've never even heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stupid. All right. The difference in that song is where most British people would say watermelon or watermelon. Watermelon. He says watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. With a, with a kind of, it's called a tap. So it's kind of like a little D sound. Yeah, and we're not the people big D. Often use that uh, when singing, wherever there's a T or a D between vowels, and that's a common feature yeah. of North American English. Well, For some T or the D between vowels. Mm -hmm. Just felt your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More features. Let's have a listen to Adele. My uh, normal accent is me because she's from Tottenham in London. Um, also, with some early influence. Was, where are you from? She's from what, Toplin, London. Where are you from? I'm from Leeds, so up north. Hmm. Quite a bit. It's quite a bit where. So if you London. were, so okay. So I don't. I, I want to look at this really fast because I want to tell you what your accent would sound like. Leeds. Okay, Leeds is a city in England. I'm going to the map. We have a map. Map. Boom. Okay, you were born. You, what, what year were you born? What no? year was I born? Yeah. Um, ninety two. Oh I had to think about it so then. I was know. seventeen when you were born. Okay. Um, you're in the middle of of the United Kingdom. So, like the whole, you're in the middle of England. Mm hmm. Wait, is there a difference between the United Kingdom and England? Uh, the United Kingdom is England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Oh, okay. Yes, now I see. I believe. I believe. Um, yes, here's Glasgow, right. Edinburgh, Scotland, right there. Scotland. So we're going to go down here to look at Leeds, right? <laughs> oh, you buy Blackpool, right? Liverpool, where the Beatles came from. All right. Um, <laughs> so here's... Okay, so yeah, you're you would you would have considering the fact if you look at the map of uh, England, you Manchester, all right there, that's all that, that soccer team. Um, What's oh with the God. Scottish accent for Manchester? I don't, I don't even know. I'll why. tell you what, your, your, your Scottish accent's better than your um, whatever the other one. My English accent? But, yeah, whatever. If it's not if, if it's not Scottish, it's crap. All right, uh, uh, Leeds. 
So Leeds yeah. is right in the in the middle. So on oh here's York. So like York, this is this is a good it's reference. Con- it's considered northern. It's yes. considered northern. Yes. Uh, so but, but as part on the map, it is in the middle. Because um, Americans are so original, everything. Like you take York, and when they came over here, what they make New York, right? They got to do that shit. So if you look on the map, um, Leeds would be uh, our version of Wisconsin. So <laughs> if you were here, you'd be talking like this where you got to go get cheese, okay? And then you have to go down to the lake and fish for walleye, which is a fish out here in Wisconsin, yay? You'd be, this is what you'd be talking like if you lived out here in the United States based on, uh, and you drink a lot of moosehead beer. That's the, there's a borderline between Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin that you'd be talking like. So that's how you would be like. Interesting. Yeah, that would be your accent if you were in the United States. So there's that. Okay, let's. Well, I'm. I well, I'm for, glad I'm not yeah, United for, you, you'd also be. Oh, you're you're tall. You're like five eight, five nine, right? Sorry. You're you're tall though. You're five eight or five nine. Five eight. Yeah. So you're tall. Yeah. If you were out here, you'd be at five. If women out here who are five eight, you'd probably be about two two hundred and forty pounds. Yeah. What? Really? Oh yeah. Be glad you're not out here. Be oh, very what glad. Mean? Fat. Oh yeah, fat. Oh yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. I know Americans are oh. uh, like big portions oh. and that. Oh. Right. All right, let's continue with this. The surprising reason why, Br- why Brit- the surprising reason why British people sing in American accents. It's a thing, you know. It's a thing. We'll continue. With this. That, was, that was all over the place. <laughs> yeah, he went. He went after. He went after around country during that sentence. <laughs> Oh, I've got to play. Okay, Governor, hang on, please. Oh, no, you're the messy. Uh, Mum, Mum, can I play this, please, Neil? Okay. Continue. Now, I absolutely don't want to impinge on anyone's copyright. And in the spirit of fair usage, I want to concentrate on the pronunciation of the lyrics. So I've edited out, as far as I can, the music. As a result, the voices don't sound very nice. So I really recommend that you go often listen to the songs in their full glory, however you normally do that. Yeah, never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Don't forget me, I beg. I remember you said, sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Right, so, if, so if you listen to her right there, she's like, sometimes unless I listen to you, and I think, I'm thinking. Why do they say thinking? They never say think. I'm thinking, okay? Like I was, I watched uh, the Gentleman that series on Netflix the other day. Good series. I was mm-hmm. able to track a lot. I like, uh, what's his name, Guy Ritchie films. I like him. I could follow along with him. Except for I when just Brad sent you something on WhatsApp. Dumb. Oh, okay. Um, see if it works. Is it clean? If it- yeah, it's just okay. a, it's a video of uh, it's a woman doing accents, but she oh. does about she does more than ten, I think. A lot of them are in the UK. Okay, well, but just li- just listen to how different uh, uh, the, the UK accents are. Okay, we'll go. Um, we'll, we'll we'll get to that one next. See, thank you. Yeah. Well, see, what would I do without you on Thursdays? Yeah, you can practice your accents now. Okay, okay, well, you, can, you can you can figure out what your many accents were. Well, many, many, right, right, right. Okay, so let's continue with we were continuing with Abdale. We go say with, with. So we got we, we, Abdale's here. She's saying the words first, then she's gonna sing them. You don't forget me, I beg. I remember you said sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Never mind, I'll find. What is this? <laughs> Adele singing. Oh. This is what I sent you. What? I'm this sorry. isn't what I sent you, Dominic. No, we're, we're getting it. We still no. We still have to have the explanation of why first. We can't be all over the place just yet. Oh, are we still on that same video? Yeah, we're almost done. Oh, right. I need an answer. <laughs> She doesn't have rotic R's in this song, but she does in Hello. Here, instead of her native mind, right. mind. she's saying mind the first time round. But in other... I, I don't think we're going to... I think he's just going to show examples. 
Um, yeah. So there's that. All right, let's look at this. This is Tiksatak Accent Queen. Uh, 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 I could do this. And no, way too much going on here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this is TikTok Accent Queen. I'm trying to see as it pulls up, see what her name is. Um, oh, this is this is actor act actors accent coach, Accent Queen Sarah Valente. Mm. Okay, let's hear what she has to say. American. I want a purple curly whirly. Standard British. I want a purple curly whirly. Devonshire. I want a purple curly whirly. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, my God. That was, wait, that was, I got to back that shit up. That's fucking fantastic. Oh, I want a purple cu- Mommy, you want a purple curly I whirly? Think, I think she does American accents as well. Is she, is um, she American or what is she? I mean, I, don't, I'm not, I think she's probably British with all the different British okay. accents. Okay. Let's see. Right, here we go. I want a purple curly whirly. Yeah, that the, so that one is standard British. Standard British is very aristocratic. Ooh, you're an aristocrat. That's what you are. Okay. Have you heard the aristocrats joke? Oh, it's one of my favorites. You know what I would love for those who haven't told it. After this, do you want to tell that joke? Me tell yes, the joke. Yes, I want to hear how dirty you can get. <laughs> what the hell fucking 10 Dude, minute joke? <laughs> I think it would be fucking hilarious to hear you. I don't think- <laughs> Little Miss fucking proper diva tell that filthy dirt. And and there was fucking cum all over the place. You shit and paste. <laughs> oh my God, I would fucking love that. Think about it. Think about it. We'll do it. Oh, I got to finish this. <clears throat> Purple curly whirly. Devon I want a purple curly whirly. German. I want a purple curly whirly. Mm. Scottish. I want a purple curly whirly. Right. Jordy. I want a purple curly whirly. Brummy. Oh, I want a purple curly whirly. Yorkshire. I want a purple curly whirly. That's where I'm from. I want a purple curly whirly. Irish. I want a purple curly whirly. Mm. Russian. I want a purple curly whirly. Ooh. Cockney. I want a purple curly whirly. South African. I want a purple curly whirly. That's a hot Northern accent. Irish. I want a purple curly whirly. New Zealand. I want a purple curly whirly. British RP. I want a purple curly whirly. Oh. I want a purple curly whirly. Australian. I want a purple curly whirly. Welsh, I want a purple curly whirly. <laughs> French, I want a purple curly whirly. Curly whirly, you filthy pig. I want a purple curly whirly. Mm. Jamaican, <laughs> I want a purple curly whirly. West Country, I want a purple curly whirly. Yeah, she had Chicago oh. there. Hey, you want a purple curly whirly? Um, yeah, she's damn good at that. I think you're along the lines of the, the, the proper uh, aristocratic one. No, I don't know. I'm on there. I'm on there. I'm Yorkshire. She got my accent like on the, there. Like the pudding? Uh, that's where they come from, yeah. What is Yorkshire? My home town. It's Yorkshire Terriers? Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe maybe I would think so. Hey, does everyone... <laughs> Does everyone? Well, they must come. For, they must come from Yorkshire if they're, if they're called. Yeah, if that's what yeah. called. Are our our sta- Staffy Bulls, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, are they all over in England? Uh, are they all over? Yeah. Yeah. I had. Are they really? Yeah. I had just. Yeah, I had exclusive to Staffordshire. Well, I had two of them when I was a kid because I saw the movie Snatch with Brad Pitt. Do you like dogs? What? What? Do you like dogs? I was like, the dog is awesome. The dog is swallowed the chew toy. I'm like, it's awesome. I got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell that joke? Oh, it's too long. I can't tell oh, that it's, joke. It's fantastic. What's his name? The guy that does it. Oh, he's got a beef for Okay. I can't let's even see. do an impression of him. Gilbert, Go- Gilbert Godfrey did it Stop the best. That. And uh, aristocrats. I played this years ago when, um, and this will be good. This is, this show's just fucking shit in the bed today, whatever. Uh, 
for those who are like, what are you talking about? What is this? Um, there, there's a, a, a joke that, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? it? The low... it'd, be a good, it'd be a good way to end the show, maybe. Well, we got people. Do you want? Do you want to? You want to hold off for another twenty minutes and then do it? Well, it's like a ten-minute-long joke. It is. Uh, Do you want to? Do you want to enjoy it now? Go on, man. We can enjoy it now. For those who have never heard this joke, this there is a an entire uh, film documentary on this joke called "The Aristocrats," and the uh, purpose of it was to make it your own and as filthy as possible. Gilbert Gottfried, yeah. I got, they may say this in, uh, in in the explanation of this Gilbert Gottfried, who recently died, um, he he bombed a 9-11 joke shortly after 9-11. So as the audience was booing him out of bad taste, he decided to take it to a whole new fucking level. So for your enjoyment, uh, here is the uh, aristocrats. This has got to be it. Talent agent is sitting in his office. A no American family walks in. I gotta see if there's. Wait a second. I want to see if there's the whole like explanation behind this because that was better. Uh, we have this. Honestly, Gilbert. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, no, we'll just play it off of here. This is this this is that long. It's that damn long. Okay. All right. We'll play it. How long is it? Huh? Is it, is it 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. It's a long job. Okay. Here he's go. sitting in his office. A no American family walks in. A ah, father and mother, son and daughter, a big fluffy dog. They, the family has blonde hair and blue eyes and bright skin. And uh, the talent agent looks up and goes, all right, let's see what you do. So, the father drops his pants and takes off his shirt. He's totally naked. He undresses his wife, starts fucking his wife on the floor. <laughs> then the son drops his pants, takes his shirt off, and uh, the, the, his sister also takes all our clothes off. The son and the daughter start fucking on the floor, too. And the dog is pissing on them. <laughs> Then the mother turns around and starts blowing the sun. The father starts fist-fucking the daughter in the ass. And, and the father, just for your information, is an ex-marine who has really muscular arms. The type with the ta tattoo of a battleship on it. And, and uh, you know, and he looks like he just ate a can of spinach type arm. And he's fist fucking the daughter in the ass as the daughter is licking out her brother's asshole. And the brother at the time is chewing on the dog's balls. <laughs> the mother while the mother is eating out the, the little girl's asshole while she is fist fucking her brother in the ass. Yeah, I, if you're not keeping up with this, I'll start at the beginning. Because it's important if you miss any part, then the joke makes no sense. Then the father starts fucking his son in the ass as the son is eating his mother's skin, as the mother is eating the daughter's skin, as the daughter is blowing the dog. <laughs> and with his big fist, the father fist fucks the dog in the ass. Because really, why leave the dog out? <laughs> that would be wrong. Would be very wrong. Now, the son breaks off a leg from one of the chairs and shoves it up his sister's asshole and starts fucking her with it as the father takes a lamp and shoves it into her cunt. 
as the mother is licking out the father's asshole as the mother is eating the dog's ass. Now, the dog takes a tremendous shit on the floor. Now, you think, if, if I could pause for a second, you'd think that at this point, the talent agent would go, oh, for God's sakes, I'm getting on the phone and calling the police. But no. I'm just saying, you know, in case you've ever questioned that. Now, the son walks in with cables out of the trunk of a car, like jumper cables. So he attaches the jumper cables to his father's balls and starts <laughs> running electricity to him as he's licking out his father's asshole, as the father's eating his daughter out, as he's fucking the dog in the ass. This sounds like one of those prayers on the Jewish holidays. <laughs> and he fucks in the ass, and the dog fucks the cat, and the cat fucks the boy, and the boy fucks the dog. Amen, amen. And little kid, little kid, and the fire put out the dog that fucked the cat, that fucked the girl. And, and then the son climbs up on a table puts a noose around his neck and jumps off. And through auto-asphyxiation, see, this is educational, you start choking, and that makes you have a big orgasm. Try it when you get home. <laughs> Not really. Really, I'd like you to. I've, I've looked at a few of you, and I don't see that it would be a major loss. <laughs> if any of you hung yourselves tonight and the cop said, well, he was, he, uh, shot cum when he, uh, oh, good enough, good enough. I saw him when he was alive. There was no point in him living alone. So the son is there, and he's shooting cum, and the mother's blowing him, and the daughter's blowing him, and the dog is blowing him. Then the mother and daughter take two rats, also, where they came from, and shove them in their cuts. And the rats are chewing the insides of their and blood is coming out. And then that, of course, makes the father and son very horny, as you know, <laughs> in that any of you who have ever been in front of, like, your wife and daughter who have rats in their cunt, you go, ooh, I gotta get my dick in there right away. <laughs> I gotta put my dick in there right away. And go, ooh. I put my dick in the rat bites and ooh! <laughs> and so he, he puts his dick and the rats now are chewing on their dick. So now like cunt blood and dick blood is pouring out of their cunt. And now the son, who has been cut down from the noose, is squeezing his pimples into his mother's cunt. Into his mother's cunt. And it's like filled with pimple uh, juice. And then he starts <laughs> shoving his face in and eating it out. This is based on a true story. <laughs> and he's eating her out. Now, so the, uh, so the daughter <laughs> squeezes her blackhead into, all over her father's dick. <laughs> and the dog shits on his dick. And then the son and daughter start blowing the father with the shit and the blackheads on his dick. And now their face is covered with shit and piss and cum and, and also uh, sweat. Ooh, sweat, sorry. No sweat. Sweat's disgusting. <laughs> sweat. Oh, it's horrible. Ooh, sweat. Stop with the sweat already. Now, the two rats get pulled out of their cunts and they're jerked off. And they're shooting cum and they're blowing the rat. And their faces get covered with rat cum. And they shit and piss. And the, the family's covered with shit and piss and rat cum. And a little sweat. Ooh, don't like that. And then the, the father takes a tremendous shit on the floor. And the mother pulls out her glass eye. And the son starts fucking her in the eye socket. And 
fills up her eye socket with rat cum and rat shit and rat piss and the dead rats, and he starts fucking her in the eye socket, and then the dog uh, bites the rat's heads off, and they start the son and the, the, the father start fucking the rats in the neck. <laughs> And believe it or not, the father with these enormous arms is able to fist fuck a rat in the asshole. Because they have amazingly elasticity in oh. a rat. If you catch a rat, right. I'm telling you, you'll thank me for it later. You'll thank me for it later. You, you fucking, ooh, and... Hey, you fucked the rat in the asshole. And, uh, <laughs> and, and they're fucking and sucking for about like five hours in shit and piss and cum and pimple pus and blackheads and ooh, sweat. <laughs> and then uh, afterwards, they stand up and they take a bow. <laughs> And the talent agent, the talent agent, nonplussed by this. I like to throw in a big word. Nonplussed by this. Goes, hmm, that's an interesting act you have there. What do you call yourself? And they say, the aristocrats. I have, n I'm not going to lie. I've never heard that version. Really? I've only heard the Comedy Central version, which was a little more tame and, and oh, like right. five minutes long. I've never heard that one. Damn. Yeah. About the uh, full extended right. version. Wow. That explains why in the beginning of the Comedy Central one, he says, a talent agent, and everybody loses their fucking <laughs> mind because they know where he's going. Because if they've heard his act before, which especially was a bunch of comedians in the audience, he he, he was going to take it there. Yeah, if anybody's never seen the documentary of the Aristocrats, it's <coughs> hilarious. One of the, and that's where I learned um, about Bob Saget, where how <coughs> filthy Bob Saget was. Like he was mm -hmm. a complete. Like he was not America's dad, which was the big running joke on. Um, what was the name of that show? Oh my gosh. What was the name of that show? We played Danny Tanner. Did you guys have those shows out by you? Uh, I'm not sure. What the fuck? Oh, Full Doesn't House. Matter. Full House. No, you guys no, don't have. I, guys... I know Full House. I know Full House, but I, I can't say I've, I've watched it. I... I know who Bob said. Right, ready for this one? I want to impress you. I used to watch Faulty Towers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a big That's John Cleese fan. Classic British humor. I, yeah. uh, so when I was a kid, I, was, I used to work at my, um, Blockbuster Video. It was one of my first jobs at like 16 years old. And I worked with this guy who, uh, back then, he seemed like he was old as shit, but he was probably in his late 20s. And he, he turned me on to British humor. And he said, you know, I, I had started watching the, the, the Monty Python films in high school, obviously, uh, Meaning of Life, Life of Brian, all that. Um, but this guy got me on to the Pink Panther series with Peter Sellers, who was like a national treasure of your country. And I was like, mm -hmm. I was hooked. I watched every Pink Panther, Shot in the Dark, all the Pink Panther, Curse of the Pink Panther, Return of the Panther, all of them. Was, uh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Does your dog bite? <laughs> it's not my dog. Uh, yeah. I like Pink Panther yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. David Niven. Oh, you guys. See, you guys got the classic, um, like, British, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you guys are just class, man. But you also have a lot of punk rock over there, too. I've got a joke you can put on for British okay. humor. I doubt you'll have heard of this guy, but he's funny. Okay. Um, he's probably my favorite. I think he's dead now. <clears throat> um, 
but it's very racist. Uh, very like <laughs> wouldn't get away with it. Wouldn't get away with it now. But it was very funny, like right. you know, Bernard, back when people were allowed a sense of humor. This is uh, Bernard Manning. Oh, Bernard Manning. Oh, I'm sorry, Bernard. Bernard. Oh, that will. Uh, <laughs> and how I know it's Bernard is because um, I've seen four weddings and a funeral like 20 <laughs> fucking times where you've got Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. Do I Bernard St. John Delaney? Do I Bernard St. John Delaney? Yes, I've seen that way too many fucking times. Uh, take Lydia Hillett Wayne, Lydia Awful Wayne. Oh my God. I'm a big Mr. Bean fan, too. Right. It's kind of low, so here we go. We'll try this. Punk rocker on the bus. I've got to start this light because I'm not totally the blues. You don't need to hear this. Punk rocker on the bus with this nun. He said, Look, I'll give you one. She said, Go away, please. He said, I've never had a nun. I'll give you one. And the bus conductor said, Now, look here. Don't keep fucking mad with that nun. That's a straight nun, I said. Just leave her alone. I'll give you a bit of a tip. She wakes. She wakes for the Holy Ghost in the cemetery just up here. Half ten every night. Guess what? Oh, he said, thanks. Next night he goes in there, a big sheet over his head. I am the Holy Ghost. I am the Holy Ghost. You know, waking you for up for you all my life. I said, now you've come. She said, it's a long time in the morning. <laughs> You'll have to go up the back. Would he give her one? When he finished, he went, ha ha, punk rocker. And then I went, ha ha, fucking bus conductor. <laughs> Wait, what was the punchline? <sighs> We, it's a bit difficult to hear that one. Uh, so basically, he's a, the joke is there's a guy on a bus, a punk rocker, who sees a nun and he says, oh, I want to give you one. And the bus conductor tells him to leave him alone and then gives him a tip and says to go to the cemetery at night time because she'll wait for him there. She goes there every night. So then he goes... <laughs> I'm spoiling the joke by, like, spelling it out like this. No, it's... Wasn't, you're, um, you're good. It wasn't very loud. Maybe listen to it again. Uh, I didn't. Like, was it? Was it the bus driver at the end? Yourself, you are. What? So, so at the end, at the end of the joke is, so he goes with a sheet on his head, uh, and like tricks the nun and pretends to be the Holy Ghost. Oh, do you know what, Dominic? I'm spoiling the joke now. You need to just. Watch. Well, I heard it. So basically, he said he, he goes. The nun then, goes. Yeah. It's that time of the month, so you have to do me in the back. So he does him in the back, yeah. and then it's a, it's a surprise bus conductor and pulls the. Seat oh, up and he so he's wanting the, to get bummed. The punk, the punk rocker was doing the the bus driver in the butt. Yes. Oh, oh my god, bus that dri- was not that difficult, Dominic. Okay. This is this is sometimes where American humor and British humor. Um, British humor is fantastic, yeah. man. It's very dry. I, I, mm-hmm. I like. I love John Cleese. John Cleese's subtle insults are the, were the best. I, I laughed my ass up growing up. Yeah, I like John Cleese. Yeah, yes. Mm. But what no, that that is um. He's funny, Bernard Manning. Bernard, um, yes, it's Bernard. Bernard Manning. You is can Mr. find from where you can understand what he's saying. Is Mr. Bean a big deal by you? Not anymore. Yeah. Rowan Atkinson, he's a huge deal. It was popular deal. when I was a kid. <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. Mr. Bean was huge, dude. I think he's been, like, knighted or something. Like yeah. 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 For his services as Mr. Bean. Did you see Four Weddings and a Funeral? I think I did. You don't watch those British? Do you? Did you see Love Actually? Uh, I've, I've seen bits of it. How do you not watch um, like your awesome British stuff? Like, are you not a Hugh Grant I've fan? Probably, I've probably seen it in the past, but mm. it's not my sort of film, really. Like, I've got a bit of a poor attention span. Probably got a bit of ADHD, a bit of a poor attention. Well, span, yeah, we've talked if, about if, this. If I'm remotely bored with something, like I, 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 I get switched off very easily. So, well, then I'll take that as a compliment because you're never bored with me. 
Exactly. Yeah. See, there you go. Uh, yeah, we talked about that because I always wondered how can you, like, because movies were kind of ruined for me when you get, like, the, um, what is it? Uh, fucking, th- when you learn about all the shit, like the adrenal chrome and all that kind of stuff, I'm like, I can't watch movies anymore. So, like, with how much you deep dive, <laughs> like, how the hell yeah, can you, you feel, watch movies? You see all stuff? the messages and yeah. the meanings and propaganda and predictive programming and everything. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> all right. Anything else going on with you? Sorry. Anything else exciting and new going on with you? Not at the moment. Everything's pretty dull and boring for me at the minute. Yeah. Um, like I say, I'm start, I'm only just starting to feel better. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take it easy. Okay. All right. Jeez, it's good to have you back. Yes. And, uh, I'll, I'll hopefully be on better form again next week. You 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 take your time. You take oh, your no, time. No, no. I know you gotta rest up. Yeah. Have you been going out and partying? No. I literally, I've not for the last three weeks. I've I've just been really poorly, but I have been partying quite a bit leading up to it. Hey, so. what if? Uh... <clears throat> That's what I mean when I say I've not been looking after myself. Right. Um. Do you do you, do, you, do you think you have COVID? <laughs> 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 you think maybe you have it? Did you get checked uh, for it? I've never been tested. Never. No, I'm not going to shove that stick up your nose and be like, oh, you ever know what they're going to put up there? No. Just put a fucking swab up my ass as well. Was that even a real thing? Do no, yeah, that? people, was that, oh, was yeah. Was actually happening? Yes, I don't recall uh, where that was happening, but people were like, you had to go to swab up your China, ass. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. Just Dude. Just say you want your prostate tickled. That's what it is. Fucking yep. Uh, nope. I never had a test. I never. I never partook in anything. Um. So yeah, viruses don't exist. Do you? At all. Do you think um that there's any kind of like new something new that's going to happen because we are in a, in a United States election year? Like, is there going to be some big worldwide? Something dick like an epidemic or a pandemic or something. Oh, it's dangerous to make guesses like that, but it always seems to be something dramatic happening in the world these days, don't they? Uh, I, I wasn't sure if something was going to happen during the eclipse. Did you oh. see the eclipse where you are? Yeah, yeah. So no, the eclipse. Yes, it darkened like it probably hit really hard at three o'clock in the afternoon, and it seemed like it was. It's hard to explain. It was still light out, but it was. I was like, "Well, wait a second. The the it it looked like a film was over the sun the way that the light cast down. But then people were saying, "Oh, CERN was activated and all this other yeah. stuff." And everybody hyped it up, and nothing happened. Yeah, well, this is what I mean. This, this is why I, d- I don't like to uh, predict anything or expect anything because it's usually when you're in that sort of mindset where you think something's going to happen. Nothing usually does. I found anywhere, um, and that's exactly what happened. Everybody was sort of gassing it up, saying it's a big deal, it's biblical, uh, it's um, and CERN and all this stuff. And then yeah, look, nothing happened that I noticed. It's a bunch of um, horseshit. <clears throat> but God knows what they're, what they're doing at CERN anyway. I they've been doing um, it. They've been doing it. For years now, and nothing has happened. Okay. It's like, holy well, shit! Maybe it's nothing that maybe it's nothing that we've actually noticed or just picked up on. I think CERN. I think, um, you know, like Mandela effects. I think CERN has something to do with that. You know, like glitches in like reality mm. and things changing and stuff. I think, I think CERN's got something to do with that. I, th- I think the the messing with space and time in some sort of way where it's affecting things. I don't know. Could be. Just my opinion. That's could be. Shit. You're, you, you're, you know what, though? You're usually right about things. Well, I, I don't understand what they're doing there. I don't understand any of that. I know it's not good, whatever they're doing. 
I know that I know whatever it is, it's it's never for the better of hum betterment of humanity, is it? No. no, no. Um but God knows. They all suck, dude. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right. Kids. That's another Mercury retrograde show of where things are glitching weird, leeing, if you will. Uh, <clears throat> it is great to have Lola back. She's been feeling under under been feeling under the weather. But um well, are you gonna go eat are you have your spot of tea and some porridge. <laughs> some fish and chips. <laughs> Porridge, porridge. <laughs> fish and chip and porridge, and maybe, maybe like you guys go like, uh, go have a good old fashioned English breakfast. All right, all that stuff. Yeah, blood, blood pudding. I have no idea what the fuck that is, but whatever. All right, guys, have a great damn day. Tomorrow is Friday. Holy shit. Uh, 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 Kayla from Flex Your Feminine will be joining. We will be doing the part two of Revelation, which we're supposed to do last Friday. Then Mercury Retrograde shit the bed. Then Tuesday, it shit the bed. So we're doing a Friday. Don't forget, get your health and wellness back. 708 982 0974. You want some shit that's going to make you feel like a million bucks? Potentially. 708 982 0974. Send me a text and say, Izzo, I feel like shit. I want my health back. 708 982 0974. I got flies and gnats all over the place. Have a great damn day. Go help somebody today. And if you can't help them, just don't hurt them. Lola, tell everybody bye. See you later. Bye bye.